Whoa! I've had a horrible vision of things to come. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like I've, I've seen this battle that's coming up. Some, something about the, the dragon. The dragon that John is riding gets maimed. I, I just don't know how we can possibly... Whoa, hang on. He has green dreams. We were able to see the future last episode with Jon Snow. We saw a future where the dragon we were flying was maimed and we were defeated in combat. And now, now we can take a stand and adjust things. We can alter the future team together. Welcome back to the Game of Thrones world with Lord Jon the Just of Westeros. It's so good that this trait exists in the game, otherwise we would never know what's coming. So we have to be very careful this time. If we lose the dragon, we lose the war. We know this from our, our future site and, and saves coming. <clears throat> so, first things first, let's do exactly what we're going to do before, but this time hopefully roll the dice a little bit better. By which I mean, thanks to my wit and my commanding skill, we're going to win this war. They don't stand a goddamn chance, boys. Um, so yeah, it's 4% it's chance when you go into combat for the dragon to get maimed, apparently. And we just happen to miss out on that 96% and get the 4% and uh, be maimed and lose the war. So, this time around, now that we've foreseen the future and know what to avoid... I feel like we can we can ride our dragon to the victory. We're currently at war with Master Tycho of Pentos. We're trying to get independence from the tyrant Master Tycho of Pentos, Magister Tycho of Pentos, the man who took off Pentos after Illyria Mapatis died, the man who gave Jon Snow the land, and the man who sadly uh, was an ally of Jon Snow. This man, however, definitely not. Not a fan of a foreign invader worshipping, or, or a foreign lord worshipping a foreign god inside his court, sitting in his castles and drinking his wine. So we're going to try and get into independence, and then that would allow us to carve out our own realm using our new dragon, which of course Daenerys let us, uh, gave us basically control over. Said, here, look after this dragon. Meanwhile, she's gone off over to Slaver's Bay for round two, because she left Yunkai in the hands of a capable ruler who reinstated slavery. They went straight back to, you know, old habits die hard and all that, so she's gone back to try and sort them out again for round two. Meanwhile... We're on round 12 of our Dragon Conquest. Let's do it, team. I have, a, I have a better feeling about this one. I know what we're up against. We need to be very careful with the battles that we choose to fight and do not fight. Any... Oh, wow. We... Oh, I didn't know that. You can't deploy the battle if you don't have people in battle against you. That's very interesting. Okay. So, what I'm also going to do, having learned from last time, is maybe hire some mercenaries in advance. Uh, last time we hired mercenaries, they turned up halfway across the world because our capital was under siege. Let's learn from our mistakes. Now, also worth learning from is if we're going to hire some people, finding out where they are. This guy is in Tyrosh, okay? So we want to hire people that are relatively close, maybe near Pentos, for example. Uh, so they don't have to travel so far, but also so they're not trapped halfway across the world. Okay, what do we want then? Uh, these boys have... I mean, the Hedge Knights are, are fairly cheap. And they only cost 20 gold. They're 1.2 per month, but they have a, a decent amount of cavalry there. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, actually, that's pretty cheap, huh? 50 gold for... Or 20 gold for... 200 knights. That's a lot. And plus, you can sort of adjust your monthly cost there, depending on your income. So if we're, you know, if we can't afford so much, we'll put down a couple of units. What are the jolly fellows? Jorah Tyrannis is on lease. Let's not go for that one. Um, what else we got then? We've got... I'm looking for Essosi sounding names. Alton Twig is the most Westerosi name I've ever heard. Uh, Jamie, Roland, Justin, Chittering, Graydon, Glendon, Rogon, Tremond. Come on, there's got to be some... Yeah, that, that's the type of name we're looking for. Jakodos Mahanis, who is the guy we saw last time. Um, oh, there's a guy with Volantis there. Unfortunately, they're all far too expensive. Um, Vargo Hote of the Brave Companions. Kohor? He'll do. We go for Vargo Hote. He's a, he's, a, he's a pretty strong boy. I think he's trustworthy. Oh, we can't afford it, apparently. All right, fuck you. Um, Joro Tyrannus was the guy. Oh, man. Maybe we can't get any. That would suck. Now, in theory, because our capital isn't siege, right? They're just going to turn up in our capital, so it shouldn't matter too much. I'm going to risk it. Let's go for, like I said, I've heard the name, uh, where is he? Oh, Vargo Hurt, I was going to say, yeah, but of course we can't afford that. Fine, we'll go for Joror, Tai, this man. Okay. The dragon is only effective with the army behind it. You can't win a war with just a dragon by itself. So with another thousand men backing us up here, being a lot more confident, although I'm not feeling confident when those thousand men are about to get immediately smashed by the army of Lord Donello. Okay, stop. Shit. Deploy the dragon. Right. Just to recap, 4% chance of being maimed, 8% chance of being wounded. If it works, they lose all their morale and 5% of their commander troops are killed. Plus, they can also try and stop our dragon. Lord Danello Trogdorio of Mylon... Uh, Trogdor? Oh, Torgodorio of Mylonos, Milanos, however you say it. Tried to slay your dragon and he failed. He was stricken down to the ground. Illyrio tried to slay the metal. <laughs> anyway, um, wow, holy shit. 
I thought it was only 25%. Oh, but if there's four units... Wait, maybe the sub the sub units must count because obviously there's not four units, but I guess they're talking about sub commanders. I swear that was only 25% morale here. I'll have to read that tool a bit more carefully. We've won this one. They're immediately going to go into retreat with that. Let's turn the speed down because my god does the Game of Thrones mod run fast. Sign of a good mod right there. Alright, hunt them down. We'll take them out while they've got low morale because the dragon does a hell of a lot of morale damage. So it's just basically going to be free kills for us. Plus 5% are immediately killed. We'll kill any stragglers in retreat. Okay, when are we going to get there? 17th of 4th moon. So we want to let that tick to the 17th. And then when battle begins, pause. And then... Deploy the dragon. Round two. Here we go. Dracaris, burn them all. Lord Mario Caporis of Belaros tried to slay your dragon, but he was thrown to the ground. Look at that. They've only got 3,600 men left, and that's not including the people we're going to kill during the retreat phase. This is good. Oh, shit. Hang on. Deploy the dragon again, please, for the love of God. What? The... Wait, what? Oh, hang on. Strange red priest from Essos has appeared in my court. They talk of the god Relor, the god of light and heat and life. The man who bought the god who bought Jon Snow back to life. I do think it, there's a compelling argument for maybe Jon Snow turning to the Red God's religion. But also, Jon Snow never strikes me as a character, having watched back some of Game of Thrones recently, who really cared about religion. You know, he was raised with the Northman culture, and, and you know, sort of revering the old gods part of his culture. Obviously, he's got the old god's blood in his veins as well, from his mother. So, I don't know that he would particularly follow the Red God. He never asked for this, in the words of Adam Jensen. So, I guess we'll say how boring. Yeah, I don't think he'd be too bothered. You know, I don't think he's against it. I don't think he's for it. Oh, God, we can't deploy the dragon. Okay, there we go. We're an adept dragon breeder after all. Of course we are. I, I'm, I've been shown to be handling dragons very proficiently in the past couple of episodes. Deploy the dragon in the battle. This is for independence, for glory, for the Westerosi restoration. We're going to bring back the Iron Throne and our first enemy is Pentos. Our greatest friend turned biggest rival. Right, okay. So that's actually almost their entire army there. So we're going to chase them down. We're actually not attacking it into anything here, which is quite nice. No river crossing, nothing else. Deploy the dragon. We're getting fa fairly lucky with this. You know, judging by last time. Lothos, Trellis tried to slay the dragon and failed. There is a chance they can just straight up die rather than being burnt, which obviously be incredible. Boom. Getting the trait stressed. Get out of here. So interestingly enough, with the dragon conquest, if you deploy the dragon and it kills your enemy commander while you're dragon conquesting, when they die, you inherit all of their titles. You just get everything you would have got if you'd have won the war. Um, so it's actually very, very powerful. And I assume that's just for, like, Aegon the Conqueror. For when he's conquesting the Iron Throne, if you played as him and accidentally killed, like, I don't know, the House Durandon, then it would kind of suck if you weren't able to make the Iron Throne because he died in battle. That doesn't seem very fair. Halas, Stark Targaryen's master in the art of swordsmanship. Um, who's our heir then? So it was Krasnus, who's pretty good. He's actually got an inheritable trait and obviously a brilliant steward and good for the realm. Unfortunately, not good for the house, though. He's not the warrior his father is, and obviously he's not really the, the ruler his mother is either. Um, Halas, how are you? You are turned out to be quite a good warrior here. Can we... Oh, we can't... Well, I was going to say we'll train him in combat. But we can't because we're at war. 100%. We're independent. We're actually free. We've won our struggle and we are now titled Lord of the Westeros Restoration. Excellent. We're free. My god, that's that's so good. That's actually awesome. Right, put those troops down then. Thank you, mercenaries. You have served while you've earned your gold. In fact, we've still got 49 left over. I thought that would actually throw us into bankruptcy. We got very lucky there. Let's make it our crown focus. So this is going to give us, obviously, the prosperity event, which is going to, in turn, help cancel out winter, first and foremost. But give us a bit more gold to play around with. How many claims have we got kicking around right now, boys? Um, we've got one on East Andalus and one on Mother's Valley. We still went on the one on Seven Stars. Jon Snow is 45 and stressed. He is, however, chosen by Relore and resurrected. Now, if he dies, he can be resurrected again, but he's not a follower of the Red God, so I don't believe there's a chance of it happening. So we found out, if you're a follower of the Red God, you can basically have the priest perform the rites every single time you die. There's a chance of being resurrected, but you lose a, a good trait and can sometimes get bad ones. As he's just a, an old gods, worshipper of the old gods, I don't think it's possible. I think when he's dead, he's actually dead, unless we convert to a law. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna like, metagame this. I think we'll play Jon Snow as we play Jon Snow. The, his descendants, like I said, will just go balls to the law with that one free reign. Chosen by Relore. So, uh, just, just as well, to point out, we, we, we're taken away from the episode a second. Over the past few days, I've been very, very busy. I've had visitors stopping with me for the past few days, so it's been very difficult to edit and upload videos, sort of following my regular schedule. We're back on regular schedule now, so I can keep up with your comments and everything. A lot of you were very concerned I was going to leave the campaign there, and some people were like, please don't buy the campaign players, Daenerys instead. But no, it was, don't worry, it was all a dream, and that's the best storytelling right there. So... I kind of want to push for grabbing these provinces in Andalos, but now that I think about it, we can just Dragon Conquest the guy and take all of it anyway, seeing as he has most of Andalos there. In fact, we might be able to make Andalos the primary title. What is it, like seven provinces and they control four of them? Bravos has the other one, Loreth has the other one. I don't particularly want to go for war with Bravos, seeing as they're one of the more powerful free cities. Pentos, though, 
Pentos can fall as far as I'm concerned. Will it become a... I mean, I assume it would flip to feudal, right? We're not just going to become the head of... Uh, the, the patrician head of House Stark Targaryen. That'd be very strange. So, to Dragon Conquest Pentos, this guy would have to die. Or wait for our Truce Breaker to expire, which is going to be another 10 years. Jon Snow's not a murderer. He's not, he's not a killer. He's a man of honor and integrity. He's truly Ned Stark's son, even though he's not at all. He's, he's untruly Ned Stark's son, sort of, but not really. So I think we'll just wait for that guy to die. We'll wait for him to disappear. You know, Pentoshi politics is complicated. Maybe he'll just get assassinated. He's also got gonorrhea. He's a lunatic and has ill treatment. So maybe he'll just die of natural causes. Or maybe Daenerys will come back and burn him alive. Because that's the type of thing she'd do, huh? Osric Stark. My courtier. Son of Brandon Stark. He's going to marry my daughter, Daenerys Stark Targaryen. Fine. I'll allow it. We've got to keep these houses going. Following the teachings of the divinely inspired thing, as a diligent human should strive for peaceful resolutions. That, again, seems very Jon Snow. Um, our Archmaester is whispering in our ear. I don't really trust the Maesters, but, you know, it's, it's a big part of Westerosi culture, and by us keeping it alive, I feel like we're really playing into the name of Westerosi restoration. Can we join any societies yet? Nope, absolutely not. Well, let's not worry about it then. We could always have a word with the Iron Bank of Bravos. So a lot of conquests in the Game of Thrones, like Stannis's, um, in, in the series, Stannis's uh, reclamation or attempted reclamation of the Iron Throne was basically funded by the Iron Bank. House Lannister is millions in debt to the Iron Bank, or equivalent of millions in debt to the Iron Bank as well. Basically, the Iron Bank run the scene behind the scenes. They, they owe, owe, owe and obviously control many, many debts to many, many people, or own many debts to many people, I should say. So, getting in touch with those guys to help us out here, they might back us. Now, the way the Iron Bank of Bravos works is if you don't pay your debt to them, they fund your enemy. Our enemy is, is winter. It's, it's zombies and ice giants. So I have a feeling either A, they might not back us, or B, they'll back us, but we could just default on the loan and not have to worry about it, because it's not like they're going to pay the White Walkers to take us out. They might send mercenaries after us, though, I guess. I don't really know. We'll have to keep a close eye on that one. What's Bran Stark doing right now? Hard diet. He's, he's also got green dreams. I guess they're, because they're both green seers, they like one another. Oh, minus five. Minus five? Really? Why? Why would two people with green dreams, I guess because they can both see each other's future? Oh, because it's general opinion. Oh, okay, because, you know, you're suspicious of them because they know everything. That's understandable, really. Daughter Deliana is responding well to tuition. The house is staying alive. Let's put it that way for quite a while. A lot of you asked if we can marry them together, but I feel like that's a feature of the culture more than anything else. Oh, wow. Harris Targaryen, Jon Snow's son, and, you know, was legitimized under Daenerys' name. Has uh, I don't know why he didn't flip over. I don't think I ever worked it out in the end, but he's still part of House Targaryen. I don't want to change it because it's kind of cool that she's kept or, or sort of convinced Jon to have one of the kids there. Keep the Targaryen name. He hatched a dragon and called it Viserion. Wow. Okay. How many dragon eggs is that kicking around now? So Jon has one as well because obviously we've, we've got control of uh, Rhaegal. I forget what the dragon's called. Yeah, Rhaegal. He's apparently his cousin, also named after his father. It's very confusing. He's also got an egg from that. So we could grant that to one of our children before Jon Snow dies and see if they'll hatch that dragon as well. So we give it to Krasnus. But I feel like that might be a bit risky. Although they do have the Targaryen bloodline, don't they? Daenerys has a much easier chance of hatching it because she is High Valyrian culture and High Valyrian whatever else and probably... Something has to do with their house might get bonuses too. So I wonder if the other kid also gets that. Oh shit. She, wait, she lost? Wait, what? Princess Daenerys' liberation of young has ended. Princess Daenerys lost. She got the Great Grass Sea though. She's a queen of what? <laughs> um, what are you the queen of? Castle of the Sunrise Gate. She's stolen a castle in Pentos. And that's what she's calling herself the queen over that now. She's just, she's taken back her title of Khaleesi. I guess maybe the Dothraki have started following her. She's got 6,000 men somehow. Oh, that's interesting. So she's somehow convinced the Dothraki, because the Dothraki, as Jorah Mormont said, follow strength. So I guess she's sort of proven how strong she is with her big old dragon once again. Got herself another Khaleesi, or Kalasara, should say, and become the Khaleesi of that. She is called Khaleesi Daenerys Stormborn again, of the Great Grass Sea. That's cool. I like that she's got a whole bunch of event storm Dothraki... Whatever, Dothraki Screamers, you'd assume. We've received message from the Sunset Kingdoms. Lord Raynan of Rainfall. More survivors among the Night's Watch. Absolutely not. They, we, I mean, they can't handle the Snarks and Grumpkins, but we can't either. So we're not going to help out is essentially what we're going to say there. Right, let's check out. Uh, we can hold a melee, but I want to save the gold. Just in case we do get another claim. Um, is there anything else worth doing here? Craft a wheel with weapon. Pointless. Commissioner Spolka. I think we've already done that, right? I oh, know, it's pointless as well, so there's not much point. Um... 
Pointless in the sense we've got no vassals, so, you know, we don't even really need to impress anyone. I think the general opinion, plus 10, same as the base game. But, you know, everybody that loves us or hates us, there's no middle ground. So building a sepulchre to impress the Lord of Pentos, I don't think is really going to win us, you know, any friends there. We could go to war with him. It's a war with the White Walkers. Oh, man, would Jon Snow kill a man? I don't think Jon Snow would kill a man unless he thought he was a particularly terrible man. I mean, he is a lunatic. Could be a mad king of Pentos. Maybe, maybe, oh, God, Varys is dead. That's a real shame, because Varys was such an... Obviously, the best. I would say probably the best intrigue character in the world. We'll take a look here, just in case I'm... Uh, kind of yeah, no, without a shadow of a doubt. He was, he was head and shoulders above. And that's a faceless man as well. So that's, uh, that's a fairly impressive uh, feat of Varys' there to be more skilled than the spy master of the faceless men. Good for him. What do you want? Uh, Daenerys wants an alliance. Fine. You know what? We'll accept that one. Uh, Harris. Again, we'll spend the 40 gold. The 40 gold is worth it just to make sure we've got a few backup hairs here. So Daenerys going to call us into something now. Is she at war with anybody? Obviously, she lost her liberation. She lost the war against Yonkai. Um, I was going to click on Pentos to find her, but I suppose she's right here. She's at war with somebody. Um, Daenerys' conquest of Rayesh Queo. She's trying to actually take the Dothraki land. She's not apparently confident or apparently not happy enough just having a Kalasar follower. Fine. Let's offer to join a war. Let's get involved in this adventurer. She's an adventurer. That's kind of cool. We're in. Hacker voice. I gladly accept your offer. Nice. She's also got 200 votes. Hey, can we borrow some of those? Could have really done with those last episode, my friend. All right. Let's raise up. Let's go and help her out here. Two dragon riders. Two Targaryens side by side. Um, who are we fighting exactly? Oh, my God. Really? That's what she's after? She's in a single province. Are you actually shitting me? Wow, what a good war. Thank you. Sure. Well, why don't we march halfway across Essos with these very few troops we have? In the middle of an enemy state who really doesn't like us. Amongst a bunch of peoples who are different religion, different culture. She's just going to stand there while we have to go and fight a war for her. What is she doing? Ward Hallis is very inquisitive. I don't know. I guess she's uh, holding ground. <laughs> she's also got 300 boats for 4,000 men. What the hell? Oh, God. Oh, shit. Daenerys is not long for this world. Call for my court position. Maybe they'll be able to cure her. Samuel Tarly. Come on. Who's our court position? Do we even have one? Uh, Lord Treasurer, Genesio, you'll do. Spy Master, whoever. What happens to Samuel Tarly? Oh my god, please don't tell me Samuel... No, no, no. Craster. <gasps> Samuel died? Oh yeah, he died of being fat. I remember now. And now it's his son, Randall. Randall Tarly. Named after, obviously, uh, Sam's father. He's actually a fairly good character. Gremlins, astute. Fashionable. Cruel is obviously not fantastic. But Blood of Garth Greenhand there, House Gardener. And of course, he has Heartsbane as well. That's kind of cool. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. I'll, I'll let him have that. And we actually married him off too, so that's understandable, really. Um, who's our court physician? I never actually did check. Uh, court physician? Oh, it's our maester, isn't it? It's always the maester in the Game of Thrones mod. Right, well, maybe he'll be able to save Daenerys. Not overly confident on that one, though. Oh, shit, we're here. Hello. Uh, Pull the dragon. Burn these Dothraki. Roast them. Co- Wow. Uh, Co Covaro Covaro of Covaro tries to slay your dragon and failed. He was beaten back. Re Regal suffered maimed. How many times have we tried this event? Five times now, I believe, and twice of them we've been maimed. Four percent chance. Not as going to be a no from me, chief. Okay, so we basically can't fight any wars until the dragon's cured. Great. Well, there you go, Daenerys. Enjoy it while it lasts. What, what are we at war for? Okay, we're at war for Darrow, aren't we? We can try. I mean, just to get her a landed title would, would help out a lot. Because I don't want to just disappear into obscurity here. That would kind of suck if she's just got a castle that she loses. Oh, there's Dothraki waiting for us. Is this even worth fighting this war? Should we just let her lose it? I mean, what does she get out of it? Oh, you know what? She's getting a lot. She's getting all of this land. I thought it was just this, but I, I guess I was blind. That's the war goal has changed. Um... Because of Rayesh Queo. What is Rayesh Queo? Is that king level title? Or is it duchy? She's going to take a duchy level title. Specifically, these two? Oh, God, she sucks. She's so bad. She's just not moving her troops either. That's what gets me the worst. <gasps> He's back. Okay, it was only a minor maiming. Good news, team. It was only a minor leg chop off. Nothing to worry about there. Bring the troops back. We need them. Oh, she got another dragon egg too. That's always great news. But no armor is large enough to fit me. No horse strong enough to carry me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the Velvet Peaks blacksmith is currently working day and night on designing a new reinforced throne for my courtroom. Just so I can have something that's stable and wide enough to sit on. How fat is this man if a horse can't carry him? My boy Jon Snow pushing up like 15, 16... Well, I mean, it would be what? I mean, I was going to say 15, 16 stone, but in hindsight, that doesn't make any sense. He'd be like, what, 20, 30 stone if a bloody throne or a horse won't carry him? That's massive. 
I need to do some exercise. Because we have the diligent trait, apparently we can just do it. Um, your health will deteriorate. Apparently not. It will give us health 0 0.5. You're a liar. Um, hard diet. Your health will deteriorate. Why will his health deteriorate for losing weight? You are you are a nonsense man. A famous herald, well versed in diplomatic protocol, has arrived at court. He goes by the name of Vicero Zoratis and is pro proposing our services. Sure. Um, is he any good? Absolutely not. Get out of here. We don't need you. I uh, could condemn you to dying. My courtier, Melina Tali. Oh, okay. A member of House... Oh, so it's uh, Samuel's son. Uh, pff, fuck off. Come on. Samuel's daughter. That's what I meant to say. Uh, she's uncouth. Yep. Like father, like son. Okay. Um, who do you want to marry? How about my lovely friend, Jerris Drinkwater? He's a stone Dornish man. He's a very powerful knight. Sir Jerris. In fact, okay, so I apologize to Jerris, not using your proper title. We'll find her someone nice. And I found her immediately. Drogon's egg? Then all start Targaryen? Oh my god, she's giving eggs to other members. So, okay, I thought she would only give it to members of her dynasty, but the game is smart enough to recognize that actually that's Daenerys' daughter. Uh, do you want to shorten out Harris, my guy? Uh, by my guy, I mean my lovely wife. Uh, shorten it. Oh, sorry, Krasnus. I said Harris, I want Krasnus. We've got Soria. The hunchback, yeah, I remember her, the hunchback uh, granddaughter. We won't worry about her too much. It would be kind of nice if she started stocking everyone else with Dragon Ace so we didn't have to give ours away. Oh, it's Pentas in Rebellion. What's going on? Uh, Pentas, you've lost some land, my guy. The Ferry's Independence War. Magister Tycho is winning. He's 50. Hopefully he'll die. I mean, Jon Snow might be able to outlive him if he stops being, uh, if he stops being John, what was I called last episode? John Blizzard. If he stops being a big old fat boy, he might be able to outlive him and then we'll just take it via, via warfare. Um, we're at 27%, and I don't think she's actually done anything at all. It's impressive stuff. I guess just the battles have counted for that, huh? Right, let's get these troops back. I kind of wish I'd never joined this war. Oh, God, don't become depressed. Come on. Don't do it. Okay, it's fine. Just stress for now. Let's stop loading troops. How can I... Maybe hunting focus might encourage him to not be such a fat boy? Let's give a hunting focus and see if we can't... Keep Jon Snow alive. You're going on a diet, my friend. Um, hold a grand hunt. What do we need for that? Oh, to not be at war. Hilarious. I thought we could help join her just because it would give us some free prestige. But in fact, I'm an idiot and it turns out she's not, not fighting a war at all. She's going to stand there. My liege, I believe one of your vassals can be discovered. How have we got a vassal? Oh, it's the Archmaster. Ask politely. He seems like a sensible man. Do you want to actually do something, Daenerys? This is dumb. We, we're so limited what we could do because she's just going to stand there like some friggin' idiot. Oh, come on. Hallis, okay, um... You are all right. I think we train you in Marshall, just judging by your stats here. I think a lot of Marshall kids just stacking up for the future would help out. Why did that cost 64? Let's say 64 then. Am I going crazy? Um, you get a... Oh, God. Lyanna Stark Targaryen gets an intrigue education. I think that suits her. Obviously, women can be spy masters as well, so that works out pretty well. Um, oh, spend highly. 40 gold as well. Why the hell not? Now we're in debt. Oh, God. The Dothraki are here. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't expect them to come all the way to Pentos. Um... The dragon can fight. Okay. Jon Snow on the center. Nope. Not Brienne of Tarth. Right. So, so swap this out. Hang on. Jon Snow on the center. Nope. Jon Snow on the center. Brienne of Tarth on the flank. I love that Jon Snow is the same marshal. Like, he has the same ability to lead troops than Brienne of Tarth. And he's got a friggin' dragon. They'll attack us. We'll scorch their troops. When do they get here? 15th of 11 moon. Okay. Stop. Turn the speed down. We need one day to tick. All right. Stop. Now we deploy the dragon. Hopefully we can kill or at least scare off most of these Dothraki. Please no maim. The field of fire. The enemy are beyond counting. Their ranks and reach beyond the horizon. Armor shining in the day. Uh, Dothraki don't wear armor. Excuse me, streamer. Dothraki don't wear armor. Actually. Dracalis. Ko Daco Daco of Daco. You can never have enough Daco. Thank you. He's beaten by the flames. you just got to believe it works. He's dead. Goodbye. Rogo Darrow. <laughs> Incredible names. No. Carl Darrow Darrow of Darrow. Fool. Wounded. Shame we couldn't kill him because I feel like that might have ended the war. Alright. Are we going to win this? Are they in retreat phase? Oh god, it's going to be close. They are. Oh my god, we might win it. Jon Snow with his dragon. Oh shit, this is a horrible war. Things are going well. Well, suddenly I see an embarrassed huff from nearby. Spinning my sword ready, I see an enemy commander, Master Toko, awkwardly attempting to climb a rock. Things trying to escape the battle, my lord. The soldier next to me muses. There you are. I've been itching for a fight. Go on, Jon Snow. Take him out. Turn to face Master Toko, but he breaks his charge and flees. That's right, coward. Run back to... <laughs> Yali Kwamai. Yes, good. All right, let's turn the speed up a little bit. Jon, you've got it. Impressive charge. Come on, surely the dragon's going to beat... Oh, god, shit. We've got one man left. It's literally just Jon Snow. Deploy the dragon? We can't. It needs to go on a weak cooldown. 
It's just it's just Jon Snow versus these Dothraki. We're not going to win it. Again, like I said, without an army at its back, a dragon can't alone win it. Although they can hold out. Kind of sucks when forced to flee there. Daenerys, hey, uh, you think you can move some of those fucking 5,000 men you've got stood in the next province over to come and help us out here, you weird girl? I hate her so much. She started this war, invited us to an alliance. I thought I'd join it to be a nice boy. What a mistake that was. Hang on, who is this? I mean, the most devout. The High Septum? What's he doing? Who's he at war with? Oh, Winter. The other invasion of Blood Spill. Where's Blood Spill? Yeah, but where's... Oh, God, no. Bl blood spill. Blood spill? Winter? Winter? Win what is blood spill? Um, let's take a look at that. This invasion of... So, so White Walker. Okay. Who are you attacking? Oh my god. It takes so long to load because he's got so many titles. Um, okay, the other invasion... Where's blood spill? Castle of blood spill. Oh, it's just a castle in Dawn that's escaped. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, there it is. It's an okay, I thought they were actually starting to cross the steps down there. That's scaring the life out of me, my guy. Um, Jormen Ilvar and Anya Aaron are matrilineally marrying to keep House Aaron alive. Good luck. How many members? One living member. That's a hell of a fight. Biggest fight of all is trying to keep things... What? As a high-ranking leader of House Ilvar, I do not see it wise to give up my family and to marry Anya Aaron, so I regretfully must decline this marriage. Uh, wow, you bitch. Okay. Um, goodbye then. Get the hell out of my goddamn court. Good night. Goodbye. What a, what a fool. Okay. Um, right, you then. I will find you someone nice. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Right, we gotta find... Where was she? Aaron. So it was Aya's daughter. Yeah. Aya and Sweet Robin's daughter there. Okay, let's get you married off again. Uh, arranged marriage between her and Harris. I mean, he's a dragon rider. Targaryen to... Oh, you know, we want to marry him off matrilineally, don't we? Okay. Um, matrilineal. Her to... I mean, what about Aaron Marsh? He'll do. As long as it's a, as long as it's a highborn and preferably not a goddamn wildling scummer, that would do. All right, some hunting would cheer him up. My work bores me. Conversations with my courtiers bore me, and everything bores me. My master arm suggests I should take up falconry. Um, search for a new falcon or hunting. So this is like the poetry event. I've not actually seen this one before. I very rarely take the hunting folks, so I wouldn't even know if this was a base game or not. To be honest with you, I don't think it is. Um, disastrous hunt or a fortune hunt? What do you mean by disastrous hunt? We're talking like Robert Baratheon disastrous. We're gonna die here, are we? Uh, I think some hunting would cheer me up. Don't die. The fat tyrant king gets thrown from his horse and gets gored by a boar. Killed by a damn pig. We started early. The sun had barely risen above the horizon. There was one. There was plenty of prey and the dogs caught many rabbits and I slew one great boar before he killed my horse. Hey, that's pretty good. Aspiring hunter. Carl John. Lord John the Just. Carl John because he's married to a Khaleesi. Wow. Carl John Snow. What a strange situation. My lord, I've been offered a seat on the conclave of the governing body of the city. You make it sound so pomp. It's literally just a building in this city that we've grabbed. Good God. And listen to the help of a notorious blackguard, Lord Morio has been able to sow chaos and dissent among my own subjects. No way is the Pentoshi rule of sowing dissent. That's so cool. I mean, it's obviously not for us, but it's kind of weird that the game would choose to do that. Uh, Sunset Kingdom, Sir Burris of Bloodspill writes that his kingdom cannot handle the White Walkers and neither can we. It's a waste of time. I think, I think we, we're smart enough to know that at this stage. We don't have a court position still. He oh, yeah, we actually left for the... Right, we're waiting for a new one. Oh, no, they didn't actually automatically send for one this time. You shit. Taking my gold? You leave my court and then send for... A, who is this? Master Wendell. Oh, he's very good. Wow. Astronomer, Master... Maester, sorry. Diligent, welcome aboard. Absolutely, let's get, let's get him serving court immediately. I've got hiccups. Please, Maester, Maester Wendell, I need a, I need a cure. Um, chew on this rabbit testicle. Well, thank you, I appreciate that one a lot. Right, let's collect some taxes too. Um, you know what? Two can play that game, bitch. Let's send him in. Is he dead yet? He looks like he's almost dead. What is he? Gonor is he gonorrhea-ridden lunatic, dishonorable tyrant? Uh, fingers crossed he dies very, very soon so that we can move in. My God, he looks like a freaking White Walker. You're right, my guy. Jesus. There's, a, there's somewhere there's a painting of you getting prettier. Trust me. Lord Methiso Zobradar has been winning the war against Lord Coloco Ray... Ray... Ray These are saucy names are horrible. Let's just go back to, like, John and, and Steve. Steve Baratheon. This is a shocking action. The Dothraki are back. Okay. Do we have any troops? I don't think with 180 men, 190 men, we can take on 4,000 Dothraki men, even with the dragon. Are they going to attack Daenerys' armies? Please, do it. <gasps> we could reinforce her armies. We might be able to stop this goddamn war before it becomes the world's biggest mess. All right, move round. She might just win it. Uh, Kardara of Dara have been killed by all the troops' battles. Is that the war ended? Nothing. Daenerys, you've got this. She's not. She's failed. 
You fuck. Oh, God, we move a lot. Oh, it's over. Where are the troops? Where the hell did their troops just go? Some teleporting Dothraki right there. Yeah, this is over. Sorry, this has been a, basically a wasted friggin' episode because of Daenerys' stinky, stupid, idiot Targaryen. Stormborn, more like Stormborn. Haha, <laughs> fucking got her. Launching a war that she can't win. Well, she could have won that. No, that's not true. She absolutely could have won that. She's a friggin' idiot who decided to actually... I sit my 5,000 men in Pentos as my husband, Fat Jon Snow, goes off to go and... Why is he not aging? He's 51. Jesus Christ, she's looked... She, I was going to say she looks like she's got a foot in the grave, but she looks like she's got a whole bloody... She's up to her waist in the grave. Meanwhile, Jon Snow just looks like regular Jon Snow, if not slightly round around the edges. Very strange. Jenna Dondarrion has been a little naval servant. Uh, oh, give her the finest gift possible. Give her a dragon egg. Piss off everybody, understandably. Uh, no, you get nothing. Get out of here with that. Well, you know what? We're going to pick this back up after Daenerys' war has ended. Or I may just... <clears throat> encourage her to end a war. Clearly it's bugged out here and she's just not interested in fighting the freaking war she's stuck. She's a freaking idiot. I'm very annoyed at that. Anyway, thank you all for watching. We will, like I said, I can go back to my regular schedule now, so thankfully we can uh, edit out all the crap once again and really start getting on with some Game of Thrones here. I apologise for the past couple of days. I know the content's been very, very slow. I know a lot of people have been asking for a character playthrough as well, so you guys are probably uh, you know, enjoying this one to the max. But uh, for the rest of you, we will go back to the edited content. Like I said, I've got a lot more time on my hands. Now that my guests have left my house, I'm finally free to sit at my desk for 18 hours a game playing Game of Thrones. Thank you for watching, and more importantly, let's give a shout out to our insane top tier level patrons for supporting this channel, for meaning that it's uncensored, and and I don't have to worry about HBO, and YouTube, and Google, and anybody else demonetizing these videos, because honestly, these boys are the ones keeping it going. Thank you guys. Big shout out to Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sedini, Inspired C, Croesus, Escape, Facundo Vasquez, Hey Dog, Jimbo, Josh Lindine Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrofilin, Palvis Presley, Sean Thornton, Smurtworm, Tom Terror 18, Bakus Bakus, Wolfsent, Zazzy, 7011. Thank you all for your support in the Sentier levels on Patreon. It is most appreciated. My god, I need to go get a drink. I, I, I can't speak anymore because I'm so dehydrated. And thank you as well to. Come on, this is it. Last hurdle. Whew, set yourself up. You can do it. Great. Nathaniel Lindbergh, Llewellyn Thomas, Acero, Betamus Max, Chris, Crazy Pat, David Van Diepen, Don, Don227, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Icy the Great, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Joran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Panthapel, People with Ethical Treatment of Animals, Sothal the Swede, Wolfie, Zico, Adam Person, Zadini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle. Thank you all for your support as well. Thank you for the channel live. More live streams coming soon. For those of you who've watched to the end, you're getting a surprise little announcement there. Ooh, you're welcome.